All right, so Uriah Hall is the next fighter on the list that we're going to be using. Uriah Hall is set to fight, of course, UFC 276. He's scheduled to face Andre Muniz. Muniz. Sorry if I completely butchered his that man's last name, but I think that's how you say it. Um, we're going to use Uriah, see what we can do. Uriah has been quite on a, a tear, really. KO'd Bevan Lewis, defeated Antonio Carlos Jr., TKO'd Anderson Silva, TKO'd Chris Weidman. Of course, we all know how the Chris Weidman fight ended, leg injury. And then uh, he did lose uh, to Sean Strickland. That was the last fight he had. That was against Sean Strickland. But this is this is going to be a, a good one. Thank you. Uriah is always a fun fight. Always. Let's see. There we go. Stabbing my opponent right here. Marvin Vittori is actually a character in this game that I, I do well with. I like his boxing. I know that sounds weird. Like for me to say I like his boxing in the game. Um, it feels good. It, re it really does. His 1-2 flows very well. His 1-2 flows pretty well when you start putting it together. And he feels like a very good counter to Robert Whitaker for me. And I know that stat-wise, he's not supposed to be the first choice. But, um... So, let's see. All right, my opponent is really going jab, jab, cross. Really trying to pin me with, uh... Step back. I'm also noticing that my opponent is side stepping away from my teeps. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those fights, man. It's gonna be one of those fights where he's gonna try to get me in the clinch over and over again. I can already feel it. The body. There you go. There you go. Oh no. There you go. A jab jab straight. That thing finds you, man. With again. Well timed. <laughs> Can't even be mad at that one. That was very well timed. And I don't think he can. Nah, he can't see my stamina. We're both way past the point where he can see my stamina. So he just figured that I had to be low on stamina at that point. Here we go. To the body. There we go. There we go. That was a risky combo that I just threw right there, but it worked out. Sometimes you can just feel it. You can feel when your opponent is going to expect you to do something and when they're not going to expect you to do something. Like, a lot of times, though, like, people will expect you to go to their body the moment you exit the clinch against the cage. So that was a very risky set of combinations that I threw at him right there. I, I went uh, left hook to the body, right hook to the body, left hook to the body. I pretty much threw one, two, three. Yeah, I threw four shots to the body. Risky stuff. Oh my goodness, it's going to be a long one. This man is just constantly going to try to keep getting me in the clinch. I just know it. Oh boy, that was bad. That was very bad. It's a risk you run into trying to be flashy, man. It's There we go. Leg kick. 
We're gonna start throwing more leg kicks in this round, baby. You guys, look. I mean, look at the look at the character model for Uriah Hall right now. I'm gonna put um, an actual PNG image of of uh, Uriah Hall in the bottom right hand corner of the video once I edit it and you guys are going to see a clear difference in the character models man it's like they made him look so freaking skinny and it just makes no sense like Uriah Hall is not a skinny looking guy you know what I mean like he's lean but it's lean with you know with muscles man it's just in the game they have him looking scrawny <laughs> my wife would say scrawny she don't like scrawny guys. <laughs> so funny, like right now. Sorry, story time. Right now, I'm. I've lost quite a bit of weight. I'm currently weighing in 174. Um, start of the year, I was about 194. Got him. And after I competed. Fuji at 194. That that's the first match I showed you guys. The one where I almost got my arm freaking broken. I, I realized right away. Got him. Yes. I realized right away that I can't I can't keep competing at that way. Not that I can't deal with guys that size. I mean, I've already shown you guys. Rolls versus big boys, so it's not it's not about the size of the opponents. It was about me I just didn't Like want something's got to give like I felt strong as hell. That's one thing like I feel very very strong at 194 Look at my stamina bro. This is only round number two. Please tell me my opponent's stamina is Just as bad because this is not good boys this is not good at all. But I uh, felt strong, really, really strong at 194. Honestly, strongest I've ever been. Like, my numbers were just outrageous. But in terms of jujitsu performance, it was hurting, you know? I mean, I freaking got tired so quickly in that match. And it wasn't just about the nerves. I mean, it was a part of it. But... The fact that I was just too big, man. Carrying around too much goddamn muscle. And then fat as well, so it's like... Definitely knew that I had to cut down. And so, right now, I am a solid 174. I feel good at this weight. I actually want to get back, get down about 170 and stay there. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god, bro. Like, how many times are you gonna try to take me down? Can you quit? Can you stop, sir? Please? Por favor. Got him. Goal is to get down to 170. That's well to wait. And, uh, I'm gonna be like. And it's just for jujitsu. Like, if I compete new breed, that's like, I'm gonna be higher end of the weight class. I believe it's 160 to 170. Anyways, last competition I did at new breed, got him. I competed at middleweight, which was 175 to 180, I think. It was either, I think it was one, nah, it was 170 to 180. <laughs> I weighed in 178. Felt good, man. Felt pretty good. The leaner I get, the better my jiu-jitsu performance. Of course, strength is hurting, but like my cardio is so much fucking better, bro. I could go all day. All day long. And you know my wife likes that. <laughs> but uh how did I even get into this story? Oh yeah. Oh, you are making a big mistake if you do that again. Get off me, boy. That's a scramble. 
Look at him, he's so gassed. And still trying to drag me to the ground. This man's playing with fire. Yeah, my wife does not want me dropping anymore. She really doesn't. She prefers me... <laughs> she prefers me big. Which, like, I get. I completely understand. He got this one. He got it. But he has no sta- Oh, oh, oh. I was just about to say he has no stamina to hold me, but uh, he just proved me wrong. Nice one. Nope. And so she, she'll she say something like, oh, you're getting scrawny. I'm like, <laughs> I'm the farthest thing from scrawny right now. Like, what I am is lean. I'm lean. My body fat is way lower. But truly, I still have some fat to lose, honestly. Looking at my body composition, like, if I were to get down to, let's say, 165, ha, <laughs> that's when I'd be shredded, honestly, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get that low. I'd like to compete at the higher end of the weight class, so that's 170. I want to walk in there, a big boy for the weight class, that's what I want. And when I put my hands on these 170 folks, I'm telling you, bro, like, he got it. My 170 is different, man. It's different. It's like GSP 170 and Nick Diaz 170. Whole, you know, both different. Same way, but it's different. And you feel it and you're like, ah, yes, that's... Body here. fascinating how that works like you guys remember the there was a picture comparison that get off me boy okay guys I need to stop this guy like this is ridiculous like talking too much he's probably gonna find a way back into this fight there we go there we go sit him down oh, he's gonna take me down He's gonna get it. Up, 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 up. Good. Can we go? Can we go? Yes, we can. Relax. Now we chill. And just deny. He's gonna wait for me to try to make a mistake, but I'm not gonna do that. I will not make any mistakes, sir. Because he's also tired. Like, he's really, really tired. If I deny his transition... It's going to do a number on his stamina. And I know what he wants to try to do is to get into a dominant position like side control, mount, so he can start teeing off on me. Oh, jeez. What do you want to do? Posture down. You don't have it. You don't have it. Ah. No, 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 no. Let's see. No. You're not submitting me, boy. I see that one loud. I see that one clearly. Nope. What do you want to do? You don't have any stamina. Whatever you try to do won't work. We can we can sit right here. Nope. <laughs> he tried to posture up and tee off on me. And I know what he was doing. He wanted to wait until close to the real close to the end of the round so he can posture up and like and get some some ground and pound in and like hey, if he gasses out or if I reverse him right there, who cares? The round is over anyways. Sometimes in this game you gotta play that whole patient game on the ground where neither of you make a move. Last round, he is more tired than me. Let's just, hold on, let me just work his body here. Oh, that's it. Done. <laughs> Done. Done. It's like an epiphany. No, not an epiphany. Look, light bulb went off. Like, bro, this man is gassed beyond belief. Just tee off. 
go off on the body like you did earlier in the fight. Why not? Still a very risky tr uh, sh combo to try to throw. He could have easily, he could have easily hit me with an uppercut and shredded me right there. But hey, it worked out. Worked out perfectly. All right, boys. Let's do one more fight. One more with Uriah Hall. Hope you guys are enjoying the fighter showcase so far. If you are, don't forget to leave a like. We're facing Paulo Costa. Wow, okay. There you go. It's an aggressive one, folks. It's an aggressive... It's an aggressive Paulo Costa, boys. All right, so he likes that lead roundhouse to the head into the cross. We'll remember that. Mental note, mental note. Back up, boy. Right, he likes that combo. Okay. He's trying to fight me like Paulo fought uh, Uriah Hall in their actual fight. You know these two guys fought, right? If you guys haven't seen that fight, go watch it. Uriah was doing a pretty good job, honestly. Really good jabs, but it just... Paolo was too much for him. There it is. <laughs> Careful. Some tells me you're not going to throw that combination again. Or anytime soon. Back up. There you go. Relax. <laughs> My opponent is realizing that he can't just pressure me. So I'm I'm starting to notice him slow things down just a bit. He probably thought he was just going to walk in here and walk me down with Paulo Costa and do all kinds of damage. But man, it ain't that easy, man. It ain't that easy. I'm actually going to fight you back. Nice. I want that one-two body kick. Uh, oh my god, what? Okay, Dan. All right, Uriah, you and your goddamn chin, bro. He really sit you down with that? Through your block, too. It's absurd. Imagine if I didn't block right there. That would have been a flat-out KO. Completely absurd. Oh my goodness. I'm going to get this dude. I'm going to get him. I'll get him. He's gassing himself out. He's making mistakes. But I'm also making mistakes. I, I, just, I, I know I'm going to be able to capitalize on his mistakes more than he can capitalize on mine. I know that much. I know that much. The one thing I need to do better, because I'm noticing what he's doing right now is he's he's looking to explode into me when I try to attack. So he's trying to like intercept me. He's, he's using intercept counters right now. So uh, we're going to have to em start employing leg kicks. Leg kicks is a very good counter for people who want to intercept counter because you can fake them out the moment they step you fire off a leg kick so we're gonna start working his legs right now and it's gonna be a game changer unless he knows how to defend leg kicks there you go aha uh -huh. And if you have a leg kick strategy, a very good way to use it too is like if you rock them to the head, you know they're going to start moving their head in anticipation of you trying to 
Like right there. You're gonna work the legs. Uh-huh. Work the legs. But when you rock them, rather than tee off to the head too much, pepper a couple shots to the head, go back to the legs. <laughs> I remember that combo, bro. Do not get sat down again. Uh-huh. God, I wish he would throw a leg kick right now so I can check it and sit him down. See what he's doing? I, I, I fake, I act, what? I fake right there. You see the way he's trying to like explode into me when I go. We'll pretend to go and you'll see him just itching to pull the trigger every time. Got him. Relax, relax, leg kick. Work the legs, work the legs. Mm-hmm. Use that Uriah Hall jab to circle. That jab he was peppering Paulo Costa with. There's a leg kick. See that? Fake him out. He, he wants to go. See that? <laughs> See how we're drawing him? There you go. Leg kick again. Another leg kick. Those leg kicks when they're bobbleheaded is just perfect, man. But see the way we're drawing his attacks. Like, I'm faking, but he's... See, right there. He wants to intercept me so badly that, like, any little twitch movement that I make draws him out completely. He's got to he's gotta contain himself. He's got to find a way to stay within himself, as DC would say. Because... In my opinion, it's all going to get worse. These leg kicks are going to get worse. The head rocks are going to get worse. It's all going to get worse from here on out. It's not going to get easier. But if you guys are enjoying this fight, let me know in the comment section. Also, leave a like. It always helps out. We're ramping it up now. Ramping, ramping it up with the uh, fighter showcases. Thank you. I'm most likely going to be out of town Sunday so I'm gonna see do my very best to uh, have enough videos for you guys I'm going to a jiu-jitsu seminar I mean you should already know a vast majority of what I do these days revolves around jiu-jitsu uh oh this is not good, sir. I can feel your head damage. And I'm waiting for you to do something so I can bang on those legs. Not good. Back up. Oh, nice. Nice. That was my fault. My fault for coming in. I should have known. Okay. That was a very good, very good combo. Not bad. But that will get you in trouble now. Because you're going to want to throw that head kick again. And that's when I'm going to get you. Leg kick. Leg kick. Another one. Look at them. Look at them leg kicks. Look at them leg kicks. Please do not reach for that weapon. 
Wow, wow, Smith and Wesson. Come here. I would like to spin kick this man in the head. Oh my goodness. That's a good one. I would like to spin kick this man in the head. That's a good one. Oh. Oh my god, sir. That's bad. That is all bad. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Wow, that almost was over. How dare you? How dare you? Stand up. Come here. There you go. You're not taking me down, boy. Another one. Get up. Get up, Paulo Costa. I will not let a leg kick take my glory. Get up, sir. No, you have no stamina. <laughs> that round was crazy, man. That round was a crazy, crazy round. Especially come close to the end right there where we were rocking each other. Sat him down with the leg kick. Then he ended up getting me with the uppercut. I stopped him again. Sat him down with the leg kick again. We were just back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. He's still powerful, man. Like, don't make no mistake. Just because we have his stamina pretty low and we have his head damaged and his legs damaged, um, doesn't mean that his power is gone. You know, it is Paulo Costa. In my opinion, I think if he drops me again, I might not be able to upkick him, and he he will be smarter in, with dealing with the upkicks. And once he jumps my guard, he's gonna start teeing off with combos. Ground and pound, and that might be it. So we can't let ourselves get dropped again. I'll drop him, though. Oh, my goodness. Careful with that combo, for sure. Uh, nope. <laughs> And he's gone, and he's gone. Beautiful roundhouse, boom, as the man was standing back. He probably thought I was gonna go to the legs. He 100% thought I was gonna go to his legs, nope. Psych, went to the head and stopped him. And uh, that's it, that is going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uriah Hall Showcase. Uh, next one is gonna be uh, Pedro. Uh, next, yeah, right, that's it? I believe. Let me look. Yeah. Pedro Munoz is going to be the next fighter showcase we're going to do. Uh, that one's going to be good. We're going to look to box. We're going to look to really, really box with that one. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. But yeah, if you like the video, leave a like. Always helps out the channel. And uh, I will see you guys later today. Later today, I will see you guys with another one also some of you are asking me if i am done with using every single champion in every weight class no i'm not i promise you guys i am not done with that uh that that video is going to continue uh tomorrow as well so watch out for that um but that's it i love you guys love all the support and i will see you later peace out have a good one